Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys guessed it from the title, of course, we are finally doing a makeup look. Yes. After all you guys requested a makeup look, I decided to sit down here today and do a makeup look, uh, like a holiday kind of soft glam whatever kind of a thing. Yes, so of course I had to go to 7-Eleven after watching two videos here on YouTube. I'm gonna link them down below here so that you guys can check them out. And uh, yeah, I picked up some stuff today at the 7-Eleven store. I paid around like $42.06. So let's see the tea and let's see, you know, if we can create a really snatched holiday glam look. So without any further ado, Let's just get this video started. So normally when I'm starting a video, I already have my brows done, but today we're gonna do it on camera. So I picked up these wax brows, I guess. I don't know if that's the actual name for that, but that's what it is. It has this really mini brush. I'm hoping that this brush is gonna work with me. I know that it has like the wax here. It looks like brownish kind of a thing and there is the powder right there. So basically this is the dark kind of a thing that they had. Yeah, this is way too small. I cannot even, like even my fingernail cannot hold it. So let me just go ahead and look for a brush and I'll be right back, you guys. 2,000 years later. So back to the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the wax thing. I never really worked with wax before on my brows. Uh, I didn't work with powder, so I think I should be good. I don't know if it's this gonna be actually too dark for me, cause they didn't really had shades. There was like, like actually two shades. I mean, there was light and there was dark and that's it pretty much. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just drawing the strokes like and I barely, barely touch my brows. Just look at this brow, it's pretty snatched, I would say. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other brow. Boy, I can see. So this is the brows done, pretty much. I just wanna say that, yes, you do, when you work with that, you really have to do it like slightly, because otherwise it's really hard to blend. So this is my first, you know, kind of review. But other than that, I mean, the brows looks amazing, in my opinion. You guys know that I'm obsessed with brows. So honestly, I'm pretty shook because I just bought the pencil from Benefit today and I paid like $26 in Sephora, you know? So this thing right here is only $2.99. Oops. <laughs> and okay, so now I'm moving on to the next product, which is the concealer. Uh, the concealer was, what is it? $4.99. So I'm gonna take just a little bit on my brush. What I do for my eyeshadow to keep them stay longer and to make the color really pop, I'm just using this as a base. So just off the back, I just have to say that it's really watery and like really thin. However, my eyes, you know, like my skin above my eye, is, which is the crease basically it's pretty dark and I do have to say that the coverage is pretty good Okay, so the powder comes like this basically and then underneath you have This sponge. I don't really see and the mirror which is really cute You know if you on the go I don't really see myself using the sponge just because that with powder I feel more confident with like a brush and especially if I want like to set it on my lid I'm gonna set the two eyes right now just so that nothing is gonna move and I won't have any creasing. Right now, I'm gonna move to the eyeshadow palette. Ta-da, you guys guessed it. I chose brown, earth tones, wormish, you know, kind of a thing, wormish. I'm not even sure that it's, that it's an actual word, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the colors. So it's really cute and pretty and like soft and gentle. I'm trying to think to see if yeah, this is not really shimmery, but it's cute. I can work with that and see what I can come up with. So I'm gonna find my blending brush, which is right here. And the first color I'm gonna go with, it's this one right here on top. So that's gonna be my transition color. I'm gonna pack it on and just gonna start blend it into the crease. I know it's crazy, but I feel like you could be. So the transition color is pretty good. I mean, you know, as I said, like the payoff, once you put like, you know, a really good base, then you really 
get a really good payoff for your eyeshadows. So anyway, from now I'm gonna move to the other shade, which is right here, the one beneath it. It's almost like a peachy tone. Yeah, like brownish. And again, I'm gonna take it into the crease and just swirl it around and just like blend it really well so that we get we're gonna get a really you know nice look okay so right now i'm going to the darkest color which is this one right here it's like a brown black kind of a thing i want to say and i'm taking this on a pencil brush and i'm just gonna go to the outer v of the eye just to create more you know dimension kind of a thing or you can already see like how it's almost look like a cut crease Okay, so now for the next thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this color here in the bottom. This is the one that kind of have like the shimmer into it, kind of shimmer. And I'm just gonna use it all over the lid. So as for the mascara, I heard it's a really good one. So I'm really excited to try it. So it does have a lot of the fuzziness. So I'm just gonna use a little bit because I also bought the lashes from, you know, from 7-Eleven, which actually really reminded me of the Ardell lashes. Yeah, the mascara is actually really nice. So if you guys don't wear any lashes, this is actually pretty cute. So now moving on to my favorite part, which is lashes, as you guys all know, uh, I'm taking those lashes. There's even like a mini glue. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but it's like a mini glue. So, I mean, again, for $2.99 it's pretty damn good i'm just gonna take some scissors so that i can cut them because they're super long for my eye shape like they're really long they're really wispy so it's really cute it's not too dramatic see okay so honestly this is the scariest part for me because there was only like three shades and right now i'm kind of realizing that i got the medium one although i was supposed to take the light one so right now i'm super scared not so sure what to do but i guess we're just gonna go with it because i don't know if they do exchanges i guess so i'm um, just gonna put a little bit you guys this is definitely so far away from my actual skin tone like so far out I would have to fry myself in the sun for 40 years before this even match me, okay? So what I'm going to try and do is basically taking some of the concealer and I'm gonna try to mix them together <laughs> to see what's gonna happen. Now this seems like something I can work with. I may have to take a little bit more of concealer. Oh, I actually build a really good consistency here. Um, because the ones that, they, oh yeah, so, okay, 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 so basically, yeah, when I saw Sophia doing the video, the foundation that she used, which is basically the BB cream, uh, it was really, really watery, so I was kind of afraid from that, but actually mixing it together with the concealer, you know, just to match my shade, um, because the BB cream is definitely not my shade. Okay, so I'm taking the Beauty Blender and we're just gonna see what's gonna happen. See the coverage. Just so you guys know, my skin is no near perfection. I have a lot of things to cover. I have uh, sunspots, you know, I have acne. So you guys know you're gonna get the tea when it's hot with me in terms of coverage. You know, mixing the two, like the BB cream along with the, found with, uh, with the concealer, is actually doing wonders i mean look at this that's the coverage you guys it's pretty sick you guys i just really have to say i'm really not mad the coverage is great so it seems like uh this is basically the sun glow matte and shimmer bronzer i don't really see the shimmer part for me they look both as matte kind of thing I'm definitely going to use the lightest one because the dark one is just, again, not my shade. And I'm taking it on a really big fluffy brush, you know, just to give my face some warmth. Ooh, look at that. So right now I'm going to the glow part. And to be honest, I opened it off camera and this is really, really powdery. 
I don't see any glow, it's matte, so I think that this is the only product that really disappoints me right now, like super, like this is actual powder. It's like super powdery, I don't think this is gonna do anything to me, but whoop, I'm going to take, you guys, on camera, uh, don't kill me. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the powder, I'm really not sure what is it supposed to do to me, if anything. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like really white to me. So this is the only product that I didn't like so far. So right now I'm going to the um, Lip Cryon, I guess. And of course, as you guys guessed it, it's a holiday, so I chose a red one. So again, struggling with the box. The boxes is a struggle, you guys. Seriously, why did they have to do it like that? So I'm gonna take the Cryon. It looks, it's really funny. Oh, this is really creamy. And I'm just gonna take it. Mm -hmm. This is not really red, it's more on the orangey side. Okay, you guys, so that is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you guys like it? Did you guys didn't like it? To be honest, if there is something that I will repurchase and I see myself repurchase again, it's definitely the brows because I'm pretty shook and you guys all know that I'm obsessed with brows. Plus, um, I do think that the concealer is honestly good for the price point. I think that the concealer is a fair price. So $4.99 for this concealer seems legit. Although, if I'm not mistaken, the Wet n Wild is cheaper. So I would still probably go with the Wet n Wild, but assuming it's out of stock, I will buy this one. And uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about the lips because I normally don't go with such lipsticks. I normally go with the matte. Um, but yeah, so this is my final holiday look from 7-Eleven. I guess I, I can't really say, uh, you know, like life on a budget kind of a thing because the whole face was $42. And I do know that you can definitely get a full look for less, for like $20. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, crack that subscribe button, smash that, you know, and that is it. Until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.